Hi, my name is Steve Sax from Sax Support. I've been playing saxophone for over 20 years, the last 15 years focusing on the baritone. Now you saxophone players out there, especially baritone players, you're aware of the issues with weight with the saxophone. The sax support is my concept and my idea of alleviating the stress caused by this weight. Now, let's take a look at the sax support. So this is what you should have when you unpack your sax support kit. First of all, we have two 50mm or 2 inch strips. These have a backing tape on them. They're about a foot or 30 um, centimetres long. You have two 20mm tapes, approximately the same length. And of course, a support rod with the cam locks. If I can open and close them, as such. This is all you need to make your sex support kit. So the first process in attaching the sax support is to get the 50mm or the 2 inch wide tape, remove the white backing, centre the tape on the centre of the bell of the instrument, press down firmly and apply the tape to the full length of the instrument, making sure that everything is firmly and securely in place. The next process in attaching the sack support is to actually apply the rod. So the rod is positioned so that the cam locks or the levers are away from the actual instrument but easily accessible facing upwards. The rod is then centered on the 50mm wide strip and pressed down firmly ready for the next process. The final process in attaching the sack support is to place the two 20mm or 3 quarter inch wide strips around the bell of the instrument, securing the rod to the instrument. So the tape has a fur side and a hook side. We rotate the instrument, we make sure that the first, first side of the tape is the side that touches the instrument. We put it right round, we then pull tight and press firmly down. We repeat the process lower down the instrument, making sure that the first side is against the instrument again, and we are missing any rods and any pads. We hook over, we give this a good pull, and firmly attach it. The sack support is now in place and ready for use. So we now have the support rod in position. It's firmly fixed. We're pretty happy with the, the location. While we're seated, we'll try and find out if the location is appropriate for playing seated. I do recommend that you always wear a sling. So we attach this and we place the instrument on the floor. <laughs> That's a good position to the side. We'll just try in the center. And that is a perfect position for a seated playing. So now we're on a stool, which is a more elevated position and we need to adjust the sax support. Again, as I said before, I recommend you put the harness on. We hook this into the harness, and the first thing we do is adjust the upper rod. Very easy to do, do it single-handed. We can then place this on the ground and see how that sits. Once you know the position, there are a uh, graduated scale on the bottom of this, so you can see and set it to the same, what, same setting every time. And now we're ready to play.
So now we're standing. As you can see, the uh, support is not going to be uh, long enough. So the first thing we do is put the instrument back in the sling. Once it's in the sling, then we can adjust the lower leg on the sack support to somewhere approximate. Make sure the string is still connected and we're in the correct position again. Again, to play front or to play side, or if you happen to be a, a player who wants to move a lot, you can move the instrument around backwards and forwards, and it's always attached to your body, but without the weight. This is the sax support. For further information, you can go to our website, the three W's, saxsupport.com.au.